Fruit Bats, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. Okay. How do I open a kiwi fruit? Just like that. Pop it in your mouth under the hat. Vegan, just do it. I was overeating, maybe really fat, almost 37 years, 13 years in the same diet. <sighs> getting fat. Doing right is getting obese. All those carbohydrates. Eating like a canyon. Making do right obese. So you have a box of dates here. People say, how, how many dates is enough? Eat as much as you want. Eat as much as you want. I'm going to sit here in front of my little office and I'm just going to eat until I'm about to spew. So eat as much as you want. If that's two dates or 50 dates or 100 dates, just keep eating until you don't want any more. When you don't want any more, that's when you've had enough. It's like sleep. When you've had enough, you've had enough. So just eat as much as you want. People say, is 30 dates too much? Is, is 40 dates? Eat as much as you fucking want. Your body will tell you how much is enough. Eat as much dates and rice and sugar as you want. Then you, you'll quickly learn how much is enough for you. All right. But I'm going to smell lamb these bad boys down. So these are uh, a local date. They're not organic, but uh, they taste pretty good. You can't get certified organic dates in Australia. I mean, we, we bought some last week, but they're not edible. We, we ended up throwing them out. So you can't really get certified dates yet in Australia. Uh, unless they come from California. But the quality, these, these are really good. These are tasty as. So here we have an organic shop. It's one of the biggest ones in uh, in Australia. Just showing you what's on offer. Got some unripe pears, some papaya that will never, ever, ever, ever ripen. <laughs> some apples that may be hit and miss, hit and miss. Again, there's the papaya there. I'm not sure why they cut it so green. Some Granny Smith apples that are tart as heck. Uh, some navels. The navels can be pretty good. They're hit and miss though, hit and miss. But you can't rely on them for calories. But occasionally you get a batch that's really good. These look pretty good, nice and soft, but uh, that's a bit of a rarity. Um, you get a few kilos in there probably. Potatoes, potatoes are always reliable. Organic potatoes. And we've got, you've got pumpkin. Pumpkin's another fruit that is pretty consistent. Walnuts, and you've got the, the chicken periods, and the sweet potato. So here we have the gluten-free wraps. I'll show you quickly how much salt is in bread. And if you're not sweating it out from doing a lot of sport, cycling, running, you're going to hold that salt water. You're going to hold that weight on your body. So we have, to get 700 grams of carbs, you're going to be having almost 9,000 milligrams of salt. That's about 900 grams of water retention every day. So that could be like 7 kilos in a week. Here we have a shot of Freely riding along, just cruising along, we're just ambling along. Going real casual, looking out for some uh, some wild bananas. Here in Thailand, you can see she's got fenders on her bike there, the Crud Road Race Mark II. Excellent fender. They fit most bikes, keep all the road spray off your butt. Cycling is the best fat burner on the planet. Nothing comes close to cycling, because cycling's so practical. You can handle some mud water. This is Nam Oi. Nam Oi. Sugar cane, sugar cane juice, and it's really awesome. This is my pre breakfast nosh. So it's a green drink, green juice, the best green juice in the world. Oh, it's so good. So this was only like, so it was 20 baht, 60 cents. 60 cents. There yep. you go. How cheap is that? It's great. This is rocket fuel. I love it. It is good. I'm and gonna that... go for a bike ride today. Yeah, nice. You've got to keep the carbs in if you want to be active, get a fit, toned, lean mass physique. That's what it's about. Sugar, sugar, sugar. I'll be cutting that out. I want you to have a minimum of 10 bananas per day, and preferably 20 or 30. If you really want to feel your best and really succeed, you've got to have a lot of bananas. So I want you to go out and buy a box of bananas, 
preferably ripe, preferably organic, not essential, but they taste so much better. But ripe's essential. Yeah, ripe is essential. What if you can't get raw bananas? Well, you can dates, okay? So get grab a box of dates, and you might be like, oh, this is too expensive. Seriously? Do you want a body like this? Should turn around, please. Show the show the bum. Go you fruit yourself. Be, you, okay, go for it. It's not a discount body, people. Yeah, you, you got to invest go in the physique. First. You really have to. So we're here in Chanaburi, Thailand. Beautiful weather, a bit of rain, and uh, I've got a little paleo primal delicacy for my viewers out there. We've got crickets, we've got uh, some uh, roaches, and a lot of delicacy, high protein snacks that can help you on your go in your paleo diet lifestyle. If you're feeling a bit protein deficient, Dream Rod's got a great little menu for you. Let's check it out. Paleo style, primal diet, Chanaburi Thailand. So here we have the crickets. They're the small ones, they've got the bigger ones, and they've got extra jumbo on there. And uh, what the, I think it's the dragonfly nymph on that one there. And a good protein snack is little weevils and the long ones over there. So quite tasty. So uh, yeah, get your, get your protein going on. So we've got some more paleo snacks there for you. We've got little gerbils and we've got little cats. Let's see what else we can find because we don't want to get too low in protein. You might go hyperglycemic. We've got, a, we've got a little Jimmy here, little healthy paleo kid. Tell us what your favourite paleo insect is, Jimmy. Scorpions, mate. 